I had overwhelming success with uh, viewership of my solar battery charger for Snazzy. But uh, I had some uh, messages that uh, asked for a little more detail. They couldn't see uh, the detail of some of the aspects of how to mount this uh, solar charger onto your slingshot. And I did come up with some improvements on mounting that I wanted to share with you. I showed mounting on the, uh, the fin portion. And uh, I found that the roll bar, the passenger roll bar, would probably be a much better place uh, to mount this to get a better control of capturing the sun at the different angles. So let's go over this. I have a 1.5 watt uh, charger, solar battery charger, that I got from uh, Harbor Freight. I think they have a 7.5. I would recommend you to get a 7.5 watt charger and it'll be close to this size. And uh, matter of fact, some of them are weatherproof that you might not have to worry about taking them down, but I don't recommend you leaving them on all the time. These, the solar battery charger is to be used when the vehicle is parked and you're trying to use accessories or you just want to maintain the battery uh, into its full capacity at all times of charge. Okay, let's start with this. When you get your 7.5 uh, watt charger, it'll come with uh, a cord like this with plugs and it'll come with two attachments. One to attach this to a battery, straight to a battery or some sort of a, a device that you want to charge. And it'll come with this little short pigtail, which I, uh, we are going to use for our application. You simply plug these things together and you can actually, for our application, I described using a solar charger regulator. You're not going to really need this if you're not going to install this where it's on there all the time charging at all times and you store it outside. If you're just going to use it under these temporary conditions of uh, keeping your battery charged when you're trying to use your radio when it's parked or your cameras or your lights, you don't really need this. So I would say you can forget using this under the situations we're going to be using it. You will not overcharge your battery uh, the way we're going to be using it. Okay, once you get your, uh, your charger, solar charger, you're going to need a couple of other things. You're going to have to order you uh, some of these uh, stick-on GoPro mounts. You just go to GoPro and there's two different types. There's a curved one, and it's got a 3M sticky. This stuff will not come loose unless you want it to, and there's a way to remove it. This is a flat one if you need to mount it to a flat surface. You're going to need this type to mount to the roll bar, and then you're also going to need one of these that's going to attach this unit to there. This is the mating piece that's going to go in there and they simply snap in and there is one that you can order that has a swivel to it. Generally they come with with a, uh, a mounting screw with a handle on it but sometimes you end up with just that. If you end up with just this then you're going to have to get a screw, fine threads, that you can use in there and I even had to put a uh, nut on there for the proper spacing you see that put it just right so that's something you're gonna have to do and I think you can accomplish this all right now the next thing once you get these items you're gonna need to make a some sort of a plate that you can mount this I come up with a system like this 
I took, and let me, I took an inch and a half by eighth inch thick aluminum stock bar. And what you do is using a vise and a hacksaw or a jigsaw that can cut aluminum, you make you a couple of little plates like this, just like that. I crudely cut it. You probably can do better, uh, but uh, nobody's going to see that really. And the holes were for mounting a different deal. It was like for this kind of a deal to mount a different type camera. But you drill you some holes, you use a vise to make form the bend, and it's pretty easy to make. Is you got to come up with something like that. See, I'm giving you the good look at it. Then once you make that, I had this mounted, I took it apart, and I don't want to replace my Velcro. But what you do is you mount this back in there. That's the beauty of this, is you can line the holes up. And you have to kind of look in there. Then you put your screw in here, line up the other one, and you have to do some wiggling. Once you get them lined up, both of these uh, tabs, then you just screw this baby down all the way to tight. And you don't want to over tighten. You just want it strong enough, tight enough, that you can move this easy enough. Okay, so I'll leave that. You don't want it flopping though. But you want to mount it so that this wire is going down next to the fin because that's where your power is going to be up underneath. Okay, I'll show you. We're going to go out to the vehicle in just a moment. I'm showing you all the details of how to build this stuff. Okay, now once you've done this, flip this thing over and then line up on the center with the center of this and it will look pretty pleasing. Okay, you do have to have the mating surface. Now notice there's two kinds of Velcro. This is a very fine type Velcro, and there is a, a, a rougher type Velcro. The rougher type moves more. This fine, it's almost like a felt. You want something that will stick and stay solid, not move around. So that's what you want to get. So go to your hardware store and, and see what you can find. Line up on this baby. And once it's pretty close to center, you push her down. It's a good idea when you put Velcro on to leave it on for a while. Now this stuff is hard to get off. It's not designed to come off. Once you put this on, you can take the mount off but it's going to be hard to pull this off once you put it on. I had to use a screwdriver to get mine off once I put it on. If you use this uh, fine type Velcro. Okay, the next step in installing your solar battery charger is to select either one of these. Now, I like having my camera, uh, my dash cam mounted over on uh, my roll bar. So that leaves this one open. I a lot of times uh, use this power connection to have another dash cam that I have pointed back. One pointing forward and one pointing back. When I'm going to uh, be stationary and uh, I want to make sure my batteries stay charged up for whatever reason, I would remove my camera or whatever other attachment I had up here and I would take my uh, solar battery charger out and I would, now I'm going to make sure I install it with this going down the side uh, toward the fin and 
you simply pull this forward so you can really see it and you line up and you snap it in and then you see you can capture the sun front and back or straight up straight up would be good for right now and you take this other side with your plug attached right there now let's go to the center console and make a connection now we're going to see how to connect your solar battery charger uh, to your power port on the center console up underneath the fan now you're going to see this is plugged into my uh, power port and what it is is a dual connection because uh, i want to be able to charge a, a cell phone or what have you and i'll have another port to plug my um, uh, solar charger into so what you do is uh, plug this up in there to the power port and make sure she's firm you see the little red light this has got a red light so i know i'm plugged in good and you take the power cord which notice it's connected and then you plug this up into there right there firmly and now this is you see the blinking light we're charging our battery through the power port and it leads back down to the battery this was not designed to be a permanent connection only when you want to use it to uh, keep your battery charged fully uh, for those times you want to run your halo lights or what have you this would be great or run your dash cams or your radio or what have you uh, you'll keep from running your battery down and a simple solar charger will do the job so uh, it's easy to install there's not much to it you don't need a regulator if you use it under these conditions 